<laughs> so I am back with the crust and the stickiness and my troll hair. Alright you guys, so I got sent another box. <laughs> Here we are. It is the Bare Minerals new Bounce and Blur collection, cruelty free. That's what the box looks like. I have some cute little samples, a little sample of what the stuff looks like. So the inside of the box right here lets you know that it's cruelty free, gluten free, talc free, and synthetic, synthetic, <laughs> fragrance free. Uh, we have another pamphlet with the collection information. And then right here you can see some swatches on different color eyes and skin tones which is super cool because you can kind of see how it's going to look. I'm so congested. This video is probably disgusting. Anyways. Oh cute. Right at the bottom it lets you know all the stuff. I'm not even going to try and read. Oh my god my camera's dying. Okay. Okay, first we have the Bounce and Blur blush by Bare Minerals in the color Mauve Sunrise. Mauve Sunrise. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that and we will swatch it. Oh, cute. Has like a little thing. So yeah, once you open it, this is what the packet looks like, the packaging itself. It's kind of like a matte feeling. Yeah, it feels like kind of matte. So you open it, here is the blush. Here is the blush. Super cute. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. <gasps> It's so creamy. It's very creamy. I mean, I don't know how to swatch, but it feels nice. It doesn't feel chalky. It's a very like light pink. All right, next we have um, one of those little eyeshadow palettes. So this one is in the color Dusk. Dusk. That's what the packet looks like. I'm going to go ahead and open it for you guys. It has the same type of um, texture as the blush, the packaging at least. Here it feels nice and matte. Look at these colors. <laughs> there we go. These colors are super cute, very wearable for like day to night. And let me see, do they have the names in the back? Oh, they do have the name in the back. We have Evening Star, Harvest Moon, Crimson Sunset, Sipa, Sipi. <laughs> I'm sure this name is not even that difficult. I just can't read it. Something Sky and Purple Twilight. So, I mean, I can try and swatch it, but I cannot guarantee that it's going to look cute. I think there might just be a lot of sun. You can sort of see it. We have your gold. Oh, that one's cute. Um, next is this like rusty red very cute we have the dark like brown very cute and lastly like this kind of like metallically black I didn't really swatch it that good So those are the swatches. I know they're not that great, but I'm gonna attempt and do my makeup. So we'll see how that goes. I swear I just can never look cute in these videos. 
but I guess for effect we're going to zoom in to my eye. Okay, we're just gonna go with that one. What am I doing? Okay, of course not. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start with, what is this? Pure Twilight. Gonna go ahead and put that on my whole lid. Okay, next, I'm going to take Crimson Sunset and I'm going to blend that shit in my crease. being rudely interrupted by my camera dying I'm back so let me get back in here okay so I did try to film a little bit of it on my phone but my phone was just not doing these shadows justice so I'm going in like I was saying with harvest moon I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the corners all right and now lastly we're going to use the one I cannot pronounce
this is the final look. I finished doing the rest of my makeup and actually did something with my hair instead of looking like a troll. So, yeah. Um, I really like this palette. It's very versatile. I could have done like a really smoky eye or natural look. This is what I did just because I'm going somewhere in a bit and this is kind of my go-to look honestly like a red brown with some sparkle in the middle but yeah so I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this little mini review slash makeup tutorial uh, again oh my god that was so dirty I can't clean it now it's just Oh my god! Alright, you guys, so again, this was the new Bounce and Blur collection by Bare Minerals. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's very versatile. You can use it like for different occasions. You can play it up, you can tone it down. This is just what my go to makeup look is basically. Uh, again, Bare Minerals is cruelty free, gluten free, talc free, and synthetic fragrance free. So, if you maybe have allergies to things or you want to support cruelty free brands, I would recommend trying out Bare Minerals. I have used um, their foundation before and concealer and some of their um, foundation powder. Really like it. Um, also the blush is very mild like it blends in very nicely kind of gives you like that natural flush look so I'm very happy with that as well but again if you guys want to try out some new product go ahead and check out the new bare minerals collection um, the shadows are very like creamy uh, like a sponge type of <laughs> feel to them very nice, minted, easy to blend, easy to use. You can use it with a, you can use it with a brush, like make a brush, or just with your fingers. Really, just kind of blend it in there. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Go ahead and follow me on my other social medias. And also, if you would like to receive these boxes and get some goodies and free stuff and things to try out that maybe you wouldn't pick up in the store, go ahead and download the app and sign up and you can be receiving free stuff as well. So I'll see you guys in my next video.